Akinelli Moromeo departs as VFR on course. Fly runway heading. Flight frequency one one nine. All right, Mr. Waters, uh, we're here on the ground at uh, Manassas Regional. Uh, we're yeah, on one of the things um, I like about flight simulation and incorporating it into an IPC, it's not, a, a departure is not required, uh, nor is a, an arrival. We have a simulator, we take advantage of it. So That's right. uh, we're at Manassas, Virginia, a hotel Echo Foxtrot. Uh, I used to be based here. Oh, nice. Yep, and back in the day, I flew a, a Mooney 201 mm -hmm. and uh, was based here, and I've done the uh, arsenal. Mm -hmm. uh, departures now it's the Arsenal 5 okay uh, when they update them they go to 6 and mm -hmm. then they go to 7 that's right and when they get to 9 the next number is back to 1 so <laughs> I don't know how many years it is now but we're on the uh, we're gonna be on the Arsenal 5 very good and I fly up here often uh, now in my uh, Cirrus so the uh, we're gonna take a flight to Charleston South Carolina okay all right and we're going to get our uh, clearance. I don't know how you want to handle your clearance. Since we don't have Pilot Edge hooked up for, for sake of this, they're not on the East Coast, but uh, I'll I'm let gonna, you handle I'm ATC. Gonna, I'm going to rattle it off for you. There you go. All right. So uh, you'll be cleared to uh, Charleston via the Arsenal 5 departure. Uh, Gordonsville transition. That's Golf Victor Echo. It'll be uh, climb via the SID. Okay. Except maintain 2000. Okay. Yeah. Departure frequency would be 12852. And uh, let's squawk. Five three six seven. Okay. Well, let me put that in. Three six seven. Okay, we got a squawk in. Two thousand bug. Yep. Uh, the top altitude on the chart for this is three thousand, but um, this is uh, the arrivals for Dulles right over this. So there's been so many uh, pilot deviations here. Now they they give you as part of that clearance just to stop at uh, two thousand. Got it. All right. So it's kind of a murky day here. Yeah, Cirrus uh, 542 Sierra Foxtrot, we're cleared to Charleston via um, Arsenal, 5. Uh, Arsenal 5 departure, climb via the SID, uh, except maintain 2000, uh, departure frequency 128.25, or 52, and uh, squawk 536. Okay, so the only thing you got All there right. would be the transition, which is Gordonsville. So let's put that in. All right, so we're starting here at K. Um, Hotel Echo Fox. Yeah, and since it's a sim, that's one thing that, uh, that is one simism. Obviously, in our airplanes, you know, it knows where you start and take off, but since you can reposition the airplane a little bit, um, you know. It doesn't uh, have the origin. It, sometimes you do have to put the origin in, but let's see. We're taking off from runway 3, 4, right. right. Yeah. All right. So we get that put in there. Um, and then for our destination, we'll go to KCHS. Perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't put the runway in because that's going to come in with a departure. So, if you press the uh, procedure button. Yep. Let's see what we got. Yeah. So we can do the, uh, the Arsenal, Arsenal five. five. Yep. Yeah. Three four three, right. Three four right. And Gordonsville. Gordonsville. All right. And so it looks go. like we're going to be the first fix is 800 feet. Yep. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, change that down. Actually, so cleared up to uh, climb up to 800 feet. Then we're going to be turning left turn, left to, turn to Shirley. To cross Shirley at 2,000. Okay. It's a mandatory crossing altitude. Got it. Okay. Yep. Uh, then after Shirley, go direct CSN VOR and then Gordonsville VOR. Yep. All right. Yep. Perfect. Got it. I didn't activate it. Sorry. You didn't load it. I didn't load it. Yep. That's why we have simulators. That's right. There we go. Load. Perfect. So 800 feet, Shirley. And all right. All right. Check so our sim for trim. Yep. Everything looks good. Flaps. So trim. Faps at 50%. So, good muscle memory here before takeoff checklist. Uh, so, doors, is your door shut? Doors shut. All right. Uh, caps, pin is out. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, awesome. Air conditioner, um, fuel Research quantity, fuel off. selector, and we're on boost. Mixture full rich, flaps 50%, transponder is set, autopilot. I'm going to go ahead and put it into takeoff takeoff mode. Uh, cabin defrost, so we don't need to do our power run up, but we can do our. Did you uh, check your fuel caps? Make sure they're secure. Uh, fuel caps are secure. Yep. Yeah. There's, there's, sto there's stories there. Oh. <laughs> All right. Clear so for takeoff. Cirrus 542 Sierra Foxtrot runway 34 right. Clear for takeoff. All right. Clear for takeoff. Runway 34 right to Sierra Foxtrot. It even sounds like a turbo. That's right. Airspeed's alive, engine instruments are green, fuel flow is excellent. 
All right, rotate. There we go. All right, positive rate, flaps, flaps up. up. All right, so I'm going to go over into... Uh, again, the caps will be um, 800 here. Yep. I'm going to go into nav mode here. All right, coming up on 800, and we should, right. start, we should start to get our turn. Yep, so we're starting to turn in. Nice and easy. You want me to still climb on takeoff, or do you want me to go to uh, FLC? Uh, you can go to FLC now, 120. Five four two zero Foxtrot contact Potomac departure. Go to departure. Thank you. All right, switch it over. There we go. All right, Potomac departure. Cirrus five four two zero Foxtrot's with you. Seventeen hundred for two thousand. Uh, five four two zero Foxtrot radar contact off of Manassas. Climb maintain five thousand. Up to five thousand. Five four two zero Foxtrot. All right. Climb checklist. Yep. Thank you. Really cool. All right. Full, full power reach a peak. All right. Are you wearing your oxygen? Not uh, yet. <laughs> Mixtures up. Oh, it's kind of cool. You have a turbo. Cause we, yeah. All right. 120. We're climbing at 120. Yep. So fuel pump is still on boost. Fuel flows are looking good. All right. Very good. So I guess we missed the rush period at Dallas. They gave us a climb to five. <laughs> Not uncommon. So Basically, the whole purpose of this departure is get you headed away from the White House. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. So our TIT temperatures are looking good. Oh, we're breaking out, VFR on top. Air temperature got low enough, so it's asking for pitot heat. So I'm going ahead and put that on. All right, so we're passing Shirley, direct to uh, CSN. Looking good. Got to love that power of the turbo, so yeah, let me switch and, fuel uh, tanks here. Yeah, sometimes before you get to Casanova, they'll clear me direct to destination. Okay. That's it. How's this icing work? How does icing work in a simulator? Is there so yeah, um, yeah, icing definitely works. Um, if you uh, create an icing environment, then uh -huh. it will actually put icing on the airframe. So you know we do have all of the um, icing protection, um, even though it doesn't really have the simulator doesn't have the ability to do windshield. To, um, uh, you know all of our buttons. So you see the the windshield. You know, LED goes on for the five seconds. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to put in our max, you know, that would stay on for um, two minutes. Two minutes. Yep. Yep. So. And then if you were, uh, if we were getting icing at uh, ten thousand. Yep. If you're and getting. You, and you would, if you descended to six, and it was warmer, it, it all actually has the logic yep. to do that. Yep. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it's um it's it's actually very interesting because sometimes we'll get customers who say I fly for a little bit and then it just becomes completely uncontrollable and I crash. You know what's uh, what's going on? And uh, we we log into their system and they uh, didn't realize that they were flying in icing conditions. Hmm. All right. Five four two Sierra Fox Trot cleared direct Gordonsville. Cleared direct Gordonsville. Five four two Sierra Fox Trot. All right. So. All right. Let me get my engine cleaned up here a little bit better. Uh, two Sierra Foxtrot, climb maintain one four thousand. Up to one four thousand, five four two Sierra Foxtrot. No, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, keep you busy here. Huh? That's right. So going up to fourteen thousand. All right. I'll climb a little bit faster. Or uh, at one hundred and twenty-five. Does that sound good for you? Yep. All right. So full rich or more rich, rather. All right, so can I run through these Please. pages? Yep. Okay, so there's, this is how I fly. I fly with the flight plan page out. There's my home. Mm -hmm. All that looks very G6-ish. You have topo now? Yep. And synthetic vision? Yep. Oh. My G6 doesn't have that. No, I'm it getting, doesn't. I'm getting jealous. But, um, do you have Nextrad or no? You don't. You can't. You, no, you do have Nextrad. We don't have any. We don't have any weather right okay. now. All but right. if you put if you put weather in the sim, um, it would show nice. weather. Um, we have the relative topography. So again, um, there's no. It's too. It's too far out to show it. But uh, relative. Yeah, it's relative terrain. Yeah. If if uh, if we were flying in the you know out west, it would definitely yeah. show. Well, by sim, you want to have this up. That's pretty cool. All right. So what else do I got? I have. That map, traffic, yikes. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, six and two there. Your motion? Really? Yeah. That's cool. Um, wow, you've come a long way with this thing. Weather radar. We don't have that. No, but it's okay. That's like a uh, little, like little, vi little, scope. little vision jettish there. Yeah. <laughs> Waypoint information. So we have that. Ox trip planning system setup. Nice. You can change these fields? Uh, yeah. No, really? Oh. And th these are cumulative distances, right? You don't have the option for... The, you, uh, just, you just set it up as cumulative. Correct. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. That's, that's the way to go with it. Yeah. All right. Coming up on 14,000. Yep. Yeah, 542 Sierra Foxtrot. Clear direct Charleston. Clear direct Charleston, 5420 Foxtrot. Right. And as far as the menu goes, did you collapse airways too, huh? Wow. If we had an airway loaded. Yeah. Cruise checklist for me. Yep. Normal cruise, oxygen, breathing that good uh, mm -hmm. beach air. Cruise altitude is established, level at 14,000. Uh, cruise power reduced to 30. Or less, so we're at uh, 27 or 28 manual uh, millimeters of mercury, so 73, 74 percent power. Fuel pump, uh, I'm leaving it off for now, unless we get some uh, rough running uh, mixture as uh, adjusted right on our lean assist there. Engine parameters, everything's looking good. Fuel flows look good, and everything is good. Yeah, my favorite altitude uh, in a turbo is 17,000. Yep. Yeah. Right at the end. Uh, I mean, I have between five and 6,000 Cirrus hours. Uh-huh. I've never been above 17,500 in a turbo. Yeah. <laughs> never worn a mask. Living in Carolina, I don't run into that too much. But uh, 17, 17,500 is great. Right. And so the new planes are the new planes are faster. So I've been, I've been as high as... 195, 196. Oh, wow. At 17,000. So we're coming up on Charleston. We're about yeah, so 92 miles to the north. Yeah, so you're going into Charleston. It's very common, it's especially at this altitude, uh, to get an arrival. So sure. they would call you up. You got the ATIS, and you know they're landing northwest. They would call you up and say, Sirius 542 Sierra Foxtrot, uh, proceed direct to Craw, join the Amy Lou 3 arrival. Amy Lou 3 arrival, uh, direct to Craw, 542 Sierra Foxtrot. All right, Amy Lou 3. Yep. And runway, do we have a runway uh, yet? The landing 3-3. Landing runway 3-3. Three, three. All right. And again, you're not going to get craw, but you can see craws on there. Yep, so Amy Lou. So let's, let, let's load that up. Okay. Very right. good. And now you would go to craw. Okay. Boop. Flight plan. That was, yeah, so I, I hit the wrong I've button. Se I've seen this movie before. <laughs> All right, direct. There you go. And we're on our way to Craw to join the arrival. And my uh, crossing altitude for Craw is 11,000? 11,000. Okay, so, if so we how, do you to how do you manage that? Yeah, in the I, mean, now? I mean, we have some... We have some cool stuff in the, the plane that I don't know if you can... Yeah, so we can, yeah, we can oh. use uh, VNAV, so we can descend um, via... So... Um, you got VNAV now? Yeah, we got VNAV. So if we go down to 3,000 feet, uh, we bug that down, it'll step us down as we're going. Well, they might say um, just cr cross craw at 1 1,000. So you want to bug 1 1,000. All right. So that gives us a top of descent. In 16 minutes? Wow. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah, because we're about 55 miles out. Yeah, it's right here. Yep. That's really cool. Yeah. So your flight path angle is 3 degrees. Okay. Um, that's okay. I mean, I mean, we can change it. We can make it um, less steep and it moves yeah. to the top of descent. Yeah, these are 1.7 instead of all. 1.7? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah, so that does move our top of descent towards us quite a bit. Correct, yeah. Yep. So we're coming up on our top of descent, uh, about 30 seconds here. We got our V path armed and our altitude is bugged lower. Oh, you think this VNAT thing's going to work? Oh, gosh, I hope so. <laughs> It'd look bad if it didn't. It's all set up right. <laughs> right. All right, 13 seconds. We got our vertical descent indicator. Holy cow. 
so things are looking good. That's crazy. That's a real good tool. Yeah. And, and does VNAV direct work? Yes. So what's our weather set at? We got so, that. So weather is set at um, overcast, hard overcast at 500. Uh, we're yeah. getting ice. A little bit of ice, yeah. <laughs> yep, a little bit of... Where's my defroster? That's right. <laughs> you know, that defroster works great. That's right. <laughs> All right, if we get that much ice, I want to start getting down. So That's right. Let's descend to maintain uh, 4,000. Okay, down to 4,000. So we're on our way down. We're on this arrival. This is pretty cool. And it will step down, huh? It'll yep. make all those step mm -hmm. downs? Yep. As long as we're bugged yeah. for lower, it shows us what yeah. we're... It shows, so it will not go down past 11 until we pass crawl. Correct. So it would, if we, we're going to get to 11 before, you know, before crawl. And it's pretty cold in South Carolina. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, negative nine. So how's the hand flying in this? So the hand flying, um, notoriously, hand flying in the simulator is always one of the more challenging things. Um, we've got quite a few CSIPs. Um, uh, Rick Beach, for example, is one that comes to mind. Uh, Ned Parks is another uh, one that uh, the, is very, um, a very good advocate for using the sim in primary instruction. So Rick, for example, he, he wants to make sure that new students can you know, hand fly and do well in the simulator and he says that once you get to that point that translates into a really great early student in the airplane okay. um, but one thing that we're um, doing we've actually just recently released our um, our force feedback yoke a three-phase servo driven yoke um, that actually gives you uh, feedback directly reads the uh, the aerodynamic information going over the air surfaces. So as you slow down, the controls get a little bit softer as you're getting towards the ground. I could really see the value of this with a uh, sending a student pilot on a VFR cross country. Yeah. You know, soloing somebody's nerve wracking. Sure. Because you can watch them. Yeah. Yeah. When they go on a solo cross country, that's you just hope when they come back. You know. Right. Exactly. So yeah, it'd be really good with the Sims where they could have these and fly your VFR cross country. Yeah before you actually uh, fly it for real. Oh, absolutely. Okay. There, there's so many different use cases for a simulator. Go. We're right at 11,000 feet, so our our VNAV worked. Uh, all right, Cirrus 542, Sierra Foxtrot. Expect vectors for the ILS runway 33 at Charleston. All right, expect vectors runway 33, ILS at Charleston, 542, Sierra Foxtrot. ILS 33. Mm-hmm. Vectors. Vectors. And my minimums. 245. 245, all right. So, 245. And you can do this with an RVR of 1800 authorized with the use of a flight director, autopilot, heads up display to decision altitude. Okay. All right. You said this thing, you can hand fly this thing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's what we're going to do. We did. Uh, Make me work for it today. GPS approach. Yep. Earlier with the the hand flew that one, and then we did one with the the VOR with the tower didn't cooperate. Yep. We'll finish that one up, and we did that with the autopilot. So very good. Let's see what we got here. So there's snow. So it's very common that you never fly the whole arrival. Yeah. So the controller just says at this point. Uh, 542 Star Foxtrot, turn left heading 180, and descend to maintain 4000. Okay. This is vector. This is vectors for the final approach course. Right, left 180 down to 4000. 542 Star Fox. Okay, check everything out here. We're going to four. And when the controller gives you the first call like that, uh, the first vector, they're supposed to tell you why. Oh, to so what to expect. Well, they just said uh, why they're turning you. So it could be for traffic, right? You know, for your descents, for traffic, whatever, for terrain. Yep. Uh, but he told you on this one that it's for vectors of final approach course. Okay. So when you so when you hear that, then you can go ahead and procedure. Yep. Oop. Activate. Oh, wait a minute. Procedure activate vectors of final. There we go. Yep. So. And that's exactly what you get. Yep. Switch the screen needles. Now, can you? Put cross track up there. My favorite cross track. The cross track on the on the MFD data bars. Wait, I see what you're saying. Um, That's my favorite. Uh, oh, system yeah, right setup. Here. Enter. 
ask him. Oh, right there. Which, which one do you want it on? Track? Uh, you can just do it. You can put it on ground speed. I mean, I. I let's go to uh, X, X cross track. Perfect. Yeah. So that tells me I'm 26 miles here. That gives me a, gives me an idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that's a big thing because everybody flies. Everybody has different uh, settings that they like up here on the MFD. All right, so I'm gonna look at this chart. 1089's in, and that's been identified. The approach yep. course is 334. We got 9,000 foot runway. All right. Hopefully, can I you, can, can you get the sim down on that? I can land. Charleston approach is 120.7. All right, 120.7. And tower's 260. You can put that behind that. And you said tower uh, is what? Sorry. 260. 260. Uh, we got our approach lights on this one. All right. Oh, I didn't fill up my uh, my TKS. Yeah, <laughs> I shut the icing off. Oh, we're thanks. good. It's plus six. Yeah, we're we're good now. We're good now. Uh, left turn heading one five zero. All right. Uh, left turn heading one five zero to Sir Fox. That's cool. You got the dotted line in there too, huh? Mm-hmm. I love the dotted line, especially when you're trying to like circumnavigate weather. And yep. It's great. Oh yeah, we're out of TKS. No, right. pretty cheap to buy that in the sim, right? That's right. You're on a uh, nine mile cross track, so you're going to get a right turn, right turn two four zero. All right, right turning two four zero to Sir Fox. In the airplane, I would use about forty five percent power here. Okay. Yeah, I'm about one hundred and twenty. Yeah, we're speed's not it's a, too. It's a pretty slick airplane. Yeah. All right, it's good. So we're on a. So we got a cross track right here. So at about the mile and a half point, uh -huh. that's when they give you what they call the P-TAC. Pretty far outside, so descend and maintain 3,000. Okay. You can always ask for lower, so three, do you want three? All right, descend and maintain 3,000. So we got suspend there because we activated the, the approach on the other side. Correct. Right? So that's why that's suspended. Right. So that should unsuspend when we join final. Yep. If we press procedure, activate vectors of final now, we won't unsuspend also, but I don't want to mess this up. Okay. Okay. You know, a lot of confusion. People about say, like, should I unsuspend? Like, no. Right. You know? Here, we went it back here. We would see that right there. Yep. People say, do I press that? Don't, don't touch that. All right, coming up at 5.6. I do like that. I, 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 That's, I use that all the time. Yeah. It's uh, all about situation awareness. Yep. Pull my power back a little bit more. About 120 knots. Fuel pump on. Descent. So oxygen, altimeter. Altimeter set, landing light is on. Fuel power set, mixture, brake pressure. These rudder pedals, now we have pressure sensing rudder pedals, so mm -hmm. um, you can actually feel you know, the pressure for our single and dual seat cockpit, which is a, a big, big improvement over pedals that just kind of detect your motion. Okay. All right, you're going to get busy here in a minute. All right, let's do it. We're three miles. Yep. Just don't blow me through so, final. <laughs> so what, uh, what heading would he... They give you if they're doing it correctly to put you on time. Uh, about 30 degrees. Which is what? Uh, zero or three zero zero. Thank you. All right, we're all squared away. Boost pumps yeah. on. Checklist is yeah, complete. Uh, speed is good. Got our landing light on. Landing lights on. Yep. We don't need pitot heat anymore. All right, here you go. Cirrus five four two, Sierra Foxtrot. You are eight miles from Gator. Turn right heading three zero zero. Maintain three thousand till established. Cleared ILS three three Charleston. All right, turn right heading three zero zero. Maintain 3,000 until established, cleared ILS, runway 33, Charleston, 542 Fox. And what's the magic button? Approach. So check your scoreboard. Yep, hey, localizer's armed, glide slope is so armed. So yep. to get and we're on the way on the final approach fix. So okay. what do we do? All right, so pre-landing pre checklist. Yep. Foos pop on, mixture rich. Yep. Uh, verify our source and our course, all right? There's our source, here's our course. That's all good. What's our missed approach hold altitude? Mr. Approach, we're going to climb up to 500. Um, well, what's our top altitude? 2100. 2100. So yeah. we bug 2100, and we just got flaps to go. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is the glide slope will not capture uh -huh. unless the localizers captures first. So oh, that's really? It, yeah, so you have to be very careful. People think the localizer, I mean, the glide slope will capture. So if they, you know, I brought you in. I brought you in good here. All so right, so I now I put the flaps in. Okay, yeah. I see. Yep. Flaps in. Yeah, speed's still good. So I actually had a very interesting situation here at uh, Myrtle Beach where they vectored me in far too close to the final approach fix. And so um, it actually didn't sequence properly. Um, so they obviously coming in over the ocean, they were trying to do me a favor 
and yep. they put me in well within inside of where they sh should have, so the Garmin system actually didn't sequence it uh, properly. All right, so I'm going to be a nice guy. You're just going to lose your autopilot, not your flight director. Oh, so okay. if I work, the, if I press this button, yep. I should just have a flight director. Nothing else should change. Correct. Ready? Yep. There we go. All right, so we got the blinky autopilot. Autopilot's turning off. You never know when it's going to happen, though, right? Correct. So, okay, here we go. You bring the power back to 25% yep. usually, if it's a four-blade. Uh, just tuck it in tight to that flight director. And we're on the glide, so. So one of the things I do when I fly by hand, uh -huh. I just set the power. It's going to be perfect. If you pitch to keep the gold bar, which is our aircraft symbol, yep. if, you, if you pitch to keep the gold bar and diamond... Then you don't have to worry about power settings. Exactly. Yeah. If you miss, you start getting astray from it, then you have to make some power changes. Right. So you notice how the flight director keeps you right on it. But there's, flight directors have a little bit of a lag. So the pilots always uh, should be a little bit ahead of the flight director. And our minimums appeared. Yep. Okay, good. 250, I set it for 250. I think you've flown <laughs> sims a lot. <laughs> so we uh, we used the autopilot. Now we're using the flight director. And then if I press this red button here, what happens? The flight director should go away. Oh, boy, here we go. No, just there you go. No. You're on your own, though. Oh, boy. So just keep the wings level. That's right. Airspeed's fine. You really have to watch that uh, diamond, yeah. The glide path. So it's two to three times more sensitive than the localizer. Ratliff says you're you're flying down a funnel. Yep. And you don't want to be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> That's a good gymism. Yeah. Uh, it gets tighter and tighter. So it's uh, the closer. A lot right. of a lot of uh, small moves with fast hands. A thousand feet to go. So we got some ground contact, but still no runway in sight. All right. Just Watch that uh, glide path. Watch that glide path. Yep. There you go. So 1,000 for 250. Yep. And at this airspeed, we should be uh, about 500 feet per minute descent. Take us right down. Course is going a little bit to your right. Small move. Oh, got the field in sight. There we go. All right. Let's see, follow that glide path down now, okay? Yep. Keep the flaps, we're going to land at flaps 50. Okay. Flaps 50, okay. All right. Let's stay on that glide path. So we have the screen kind of optimized for the I see. camera, so it might uh, be a okay. little bit hard to see. But All right. Got a crosswind from the left. You want me to land with 50% flaps? Yeah, just oh, okay. add a touch of power here, we're a little low. Yeah, but I mean, to us, I know the camera sees it, but we're right. looking for that runway. <laughs> There we go. That's cool. Yeah, not a very good sight picture with the... Well, that's good, though. You're, you're in perfect attitude. I think Fly still would have liked that one. Can't see where I'm. Uh, uh, my nose is little, up. Little right, ah, runner, little, little right runner. Little right runner. <laughs> no, there's the right runway. There's the yeah, right. I can yeah. see it now. Oh, that's funny. Very good. I mean, that's amazing with the synthetic vision what you've done. What a yeah. wow. That's amazing. All right, there we All go. All right, good job. Well, I can't, your say, I can't your say I've ever. Approach. I can't say I've ever uh, landed with uh, what seemed like a 20 degree. <laughs> uh, <all right>. Well <laughs> done. Good. Well, thank you very much. Well done. Woo.